Hello everybody and welcome back to Stasis. We are here doing part two. Doing it uh, a lot sooner than I thought, but uh, with the uh, Fan Expo coming into Toronto, where I am, and uh, I'm going to be there doing some things. There's going to be a while before we see the next one, so I figured, why not? I've got a little bit of time today. Uh, let's go through it and see if we can bust out another half hour. Now, um, if you uh, remember from the alpha, if you watch that, I got to this part and I think I got stuck. <laughs> uh, they've changed some of the few things. You can go back and see um, what, what's what been changed in the uh, in this final release compared to the alpha that I played. Um, it's mostly the same. A lot of the background art is the same, but definitely this text is different. So we have uh, Andrew Bryan, Engineer Level 1 doing some things and we can I believe go through some of these yes we can Andrew here it's about uh, 6 a.m. I'm absolutely exhausted so this is the most advanced scientific sh research ship in existence huh bullshit I've been here for only three months and now I know why the previous guy quit leisure equipment steam vents circuit breakers everything has at least one serious design flaw not only are the coolant systems capable of failing, they're capable of at least four different types of fault, and I can only spot two of them in advance. This ship's been running for 50 years and nobody's bothered to do any upgrades. Bottom line, the casings are shoddy and they're going to need months of work to make them 100% safe. I've also pulled a muscle in my shoulder trying to rotate the pressure release valve. The bastard needs to be turned three goddamn times. Now I believe that is a hint. So just make sure that you gotta turn it three times, which is a game standard. Everything has to be done three times. So here we are on October 16th. Simmons volunteered to be a research subject and something has been off with him since he got back from the labs. I don't want to report him into security, but I'll keep an eye on him. Fucking research departments. Can't they use monkeys like everyone else? This guy's a little bit disgruntled. He sounds like me when I'm at the office. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, C-Sec sent me down to the ass end of the ship to fix the fluid storage vats. Again. Not too long ago, other vats malfunctioned and started uh, spraying that acidic shit all over the place. The bulkheads locked down and the entire maintenance crew dissolved. Huh. They only found teeth. <laughs> I'm, not going to I'm not going home in a jar, so I've killed the security system lockdown. If that thing so much as pisses that acid in my direction, the system will reset and all security reset all the security procedures safety first now that I remember from the alpha is a big uh, what is this free juca for every 20 what the hell's a juca only valid at the tw titty twister well there you go <laughs> over here um, yes so that was a hint I remember uh, having to fix the drill and I remember I think I got stuck there um, but here we go fluid tanks the sound of bubbling liquid resonates inside the huge fluid storage tanks uh, oh, we can actually approach this. I guess we'll go to the system failure screen and see what happens. Or we're just walking to it. I don't know. The monitoring screen reads system failure. Please contact A. Brian Engineer Level 1. Well, he's clearly not here. And what we've not learned is that the ship has been in operation for at least 50 years. But we haven't ourselves been there for 50 years. So all of these are the same things. Um, yes, we need to uh, get the drill going. And I can't remember... Uh, how that's done because I didn't go and review the alpha uh, as I should have I just remember vague things now you got to turn this three times I remember this <laughs> it's stuck. apparently it's stuck <laughs> and I don't think we have anything what do we have we have a shard of glass and a wet dirty towel I don't, I don't think that'll work room. yeah thanks dude thanks John and yeah, uh, I did look at like the first few minutes of my alpha just to kind of remember what uh, had been done. Um, and I forget where I was going with that. Uh, <laughs> where was I going with that story? That total non-story. Uh, oh yeah, there was um, basically I, I was able to figure out a lot of things uh, more quickly, I guess, or, or at least more solidly. Uh, because I was being a bit more thorough than I have been so far in this playthrough. Of course, I've only, you know, played one part, but I know, uh, like, not identifying who I was and that kind of thing. Uh, and then I was like, you know what, I'm just going to retread the same things that I've been doing over again. Um, 
I honestly don't know. Oh, wait, no, we did that. Alright, so I remember the drill is actually. Where we need the robot arm from the. Uh, this thing robotic surgeon so we need to go and turn that on but I don't know if it'll actually um yeah, sure it's on. there we go and robotics the robots. Are active. thank you all right so now we can take a look at this guy uh the screen of this access terminal glows a weak gray light glows with a weak gray light my goodness I cannot read all right surgery logs I think we did this last time we played. Um, the Nero drill is stuck again. Every time I try to change it, the arm detracts. Oh, right. Right, 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 right. Okay, I remember now. So we, oops, we gotta get that thing extended. We'll just get that done. Anything, it doesn't matter. All right, so now that's extended, but if we touch it, it'll go back. So we gotta come here and actually kill the power to it. And then we should be able to get what we need. Doo -ba -doo. Here we go. The arm for the automated robotic surgeon is extended. The mechanism that holds the neuro drill in place is unlocked and open. Well, guess what? I just got me a drill. Yeah, there it is. Uh, okay, so I don't remember what else, but uh, now we can go and drill a hole in one of those tanks. And I remember that's where I was stuck. Uh, when I was playing the alpha that was oh god I have no idea when that was I think it was a year ago or maybe just under a year ago it hasn't been that long this is actually uh, a quickly baked game uh, in terms of development and uh, in terms of uh, you know the standard Kickstarter because I'm still waiting for Paradise Lost I have no idea if that game is ever going to be finished it seems like it seems like all okay John I'll just just breathe just stay calm and breathe. <sighs> okay. Uh, yeah, but I mean, uh, in terms of Paradise Lost, which is the only other game. Oops. This is not where I want to be. Um, in terms of uh, the other game that I. So I've, I've backed a lot of board games and that kind of stuff, and that stuff has come through flying colors. It's one of the best things you can do to. If you're into uh, kickstarting anything, um, but yeah, there's another game called Paradise Lost. Take a look. It looks really cool, but at the same time, is um, I don't know what they've been doing because all I've ever seen from them are animated gifs. They're very nice animated gifs, but you know, at least uh, this guy here, I can't remember his name. Was, oh shit! I didn't do that right. <laughs> uh, oh. I got an achievement for that, nice. I really hope I don't have to go all the way back. Okay, good, good. The game's not as punishing as an old Sierra game. Now, um, how do we do this? Oh, maybe with just the syringe? That's just crazy. No. How do I, uh... Notice. How do I get a lock? Mm. No? Can we combine stuff? Nah, that's ridiculous. What about this? I can try to make it fit, but it may break. Hmm. No, I really have no idea. Uh, what if I do a different tank? No, it's gonna happen again. It's gonna. No, I. Why? No. Okay, run, run, run. <laughs> It's nice to know that that scream is, uh... <laughs> it's very effective, I guess. Alright, now I'm just wasting time. So now I have no idea how I'm supposed to get this done. Alright, so we got the drill. Is there some sort of clamping mechanism that I need to get? Uh, oh right, we gotta turn the valve. How do we do this? Can I drill the valve? Mm. No. Wait, did that work? Ah, there you go. 
Okay, so I guess it's just try. Oh, I think that's it. All right, so now we should be able to drill this thing. Get over there and don't die this time. There we go. Nice. Attention. System rebooted. Air scrubbers activated. You almost got a little bit of Good news. Alright. The rebooted monitoring system is slowly cycling and checking each subsystem. Now, uh, I believe we can take the elevator down. Now, all I remember is at the end of the alpha, he gets on a tram, and that's kind of it. And uh, I was left hanging, obviously. But uh, yeah, so now the elevator is working perfect. So we can get down there. Excuse me. Let's just get in there to the elevator control. And if I am not mistaken, we're going to see a ghost or something. Now, I believe... I don't think we can get to... I don't know where we need to go. I guess we'll go to product storage level 2 and see what else is there. But I'm pretty sure we need to actually go lower. If I'm not mistaken. Ah, elevator music joke. So tried and true. Never ends. No, here's the thing. I've been in many elevators, and I've never heard music. Attention. Product storage 2. Access to product storage 2 is denied until further notice. Alright, thank you, Mother Brain. So this is not where we're supposed to go. Uh, but yeah, I can't even remember the last time I heard music in an elevator. It just doesn't happen anymore. But it's just a mainstay of a joke. Maybe there's places that still pipe music through, uh... Elevators, but as far as I know, they don't. Not in any that I've been to in the last, I don't know, decade. Do you think on a starship they would have. Uh, oh. Attention, service platform one. Please check in with the duty officer before engaging with any products. The room on the other side of the observation portal has a single bed in the center surrounded by life support machinery. Beyond the observation portal stands an empty room containing a single chair. And over here is children's toys lie in the room seen through the observation portal. A teddy bear is soaked in a red fluid, its matted hair plastered to the hard metal floor. Well clearly someone's been up to no good on this ship, if you couldn't figure that out already. Aha, this is where what are they doing here? the game managed to startle me for the first time. So we've got uh, body bags, two child sized body bags lie very close to one another as if for warmth. And we have a closed one and another closed one. The outline of a human adult can be seen in the body bag. Now, if I'm not mistaken, none of these are our wife. Whoa. Can we close that back up? What happened? What did I get? Oh, I got a toe toe tag. Okay, it's mm. just an electronic one. Probably not a good idea. Alright, uh... I don't think we can check on the children here, because that's a little bit too morbid even for this game. No, I lied. like this. Oh god. I need to get to Rebecca. So it's not Rebecca. The body of a child. You almost feel guilty with the flood of relief when you realize it's not your own. Can't do anything with that one, but let's go ahead and open all of these, desecrate all the corpses, because that is the adventure game spirit. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Are you? The dead child's eyes stare directly at you, as if in recrimination. Well, I'm glad it's not that detailed. Swaths of blood obscure the room beyond glass. Well, we'll take a look at this body bag. Now, I can't remember exactly when that thing triggers. Maybe it's not now. I, it's a vague memory. Holy shit! <laughs> it got me again. But this time I didn't cry out. Something killed the shit out of that one. 
Oh, the security holograms are still working. Why would they even have that as a like a security hall? I don't get it. Maybe it's to investigate the scene as it happens, but. Anyways, um, the airtight enclosure of the body bag has made it difficult to judge how long this corpse has been lying here. We can't do anything, but here we go. Clara Daniel, General Nurse, Biome Labs. Oh, we heard about her earlier, didn't we? Personal data tag 5588866 GNS Security Level 1. She's got something bright on her. Take a look. Oh, look. It's another set of logs. This is actually one of those things that I really like about uh, these space horror games. Everyone leaves logs behind. Everyone keeps like amazing journals and they just carry them with them and leave them lying about. Especially with save codes. Alright, so uh, when Mike suggested I go and work in product storage, I honestly thought he was nuts. I mean, the pay is great and the hours are fantastic, but the job, well, I think it'll be boring. Apparently the only time a nurse is ever needed is when they crack the stasis tube open, which Robert, the admin officer, said hardly ever happens. Nine times out of ten, they just take the pods directly to the different projects. I'm hopeful that we'll be able to open one soon. Wow, you're a little bit, uh, morbid. Next one is, uh, tomorrow I actually get to do some work that doesn't involve monitoring vital signs. We're opening a pod for Dr. Isaacs in Project Kitchen Knife. They said they needed a specimen who was fully awake. These pods are filled with prisoners and drifters. They had their chance at a productive life and ruined it all. Which isn't true, we were on our way after singing a creepy lullaby. Do you remember? Do you remember? See episode 1. Uh, yesterday was much harder than I'd imagined. When we opened the pod, the woman inside had no idea where she was. I'm aware that long-term stasis can cause disorientation, but she kept screaming for her husband, saying they were on their way to holiday in Europa. On Europa. The doctor quickly sedated her and gave her a vocal cord numbing agent to stop the screaming. I mean, she was obviously lying about being a holiday maker. These drifters will say anything to get out of this situation. Uh-huh. Had to drink a bit of that Kool-Aid, did ya? Vocal cord numbing agents would be awesome if they were real, by the way. Maybe they are, but they're not available to the general public, because I'd use it on so many people. Uh, here we go. We got another two products in this morning, transfers from a penal colony on Earth. I asked to have a look at their files, hoping that it would make this a little easier, but I was told that all records are sealed. Lies. I had to delete the last few logs. I read them over again, but they were just too painful. I can still hear the crying of the last man we thought out. He didn't even scream. He sat on the bed crying until the doctors came in. They tagged him and took him down to the labs. He didn't even scream. Oh. Yesterday we opened up a pod with a ten-year-old boy in it. There must have been some sort of mistake. Even if he was a drifter, he's a child. His name's Neil. He is in rehabilitation downstairs. I asked to go and visit him, but was told that it would be easier for me if I just let things be. I want out of product storage. I requested a transfer to, to the biomes. I think hydroponics will cheer me up. Hydro cheers everybody up. Uh, the pay isn't as good, but at least I'll be able to sleep at night. I heard the department heads talking about getting something from product storage. They already have four unopened stasis pods in the lab, but they're looking for a subject that can respond immediately. This isn't right. They're using products from product storage too. I thought this was just a hi oh, hydroponics bay. What the hell would they need human specimens for? Sarah told me that there are more children in the rehabilitation centers under product storage. I'm going there tonight. These security lockdowns have been happening more frequently. I'm going to use them to my advantage. Tomorrow, I'm going to get those kids out of there. I'm leaving these entries on this PDA so that if I disappear, you'll know what happened. Whoever's reading this, you need to help. Please, help those children. So that is maybe our new space quest on top of finding our wife and child is to help the children. I'm sure they're all dead. A biometric access door requires a handprint to unlock it. Now, does someone have a hand that I can take? I don't remember. I probably have to go to the other level again. Yeah, that's all she got. Sorry. Uh, okay, so let's go on and uh, get out of here. I believe what I needed is that toe tag. And we can get back into the elevator and see what's downstairs. Into the lobby too. So, okay, that's not music. 
Oh, there's the music. But yeah, horrific screams on top of your elevator music is always a good thing. Definitely want to be around, wandering around this ship. Okay, door open. It's just getting colder. Is it? Or are you getting Hello? weaker? Someone there. Yet another pretty girl. A flickering light highlights the scratches on the elevator doors. Some of the scratches look like they were made by bare nails across the paint. How would you know that? It's locked. Oh. Okay. We remind you that this is a non-smoking platform. The yellow paint of the surface elevator. Or destroying the laboratory to the smoke ground. detectors is leading to the spinning the red hologram indicates that the door is locked. Sorry, I was kind of listening to the no smoking uh, announcement. Uh, okay, so something's knocking back at us. That's not cool. Oh. This is somewhat familiar, but not really. The stench of decomposition wafts your way thanks to the languid spin of the fan. I'm sure I'm going to have to deal with this dude. Exposed human fat catches the light as blood flows freely onto the cold metal floor. The static of a radio signal and a faint voice echo out from under the corpse. Is it dead? I mean, it's moving around and stuff. Oh, mother. Vomit. Oh. That was one from 20 years ago. So, uh, yeah, take a look at that. That's some seriously ancient vomit. No idea how long we were in the actual uh, pod for. The subject lost most of its blood before reaching this resting spot. It's not resting. Why? Why? Rerouting radio signal through blood suit. <laughs> Marachek. Uh, I'm... John? How did... Never mind. It's Yuri there. I'm sorry. He's been... He's dead. Shit. Listen to me, John. No, wait. Who are you? My name is Pear Hensley. I'm a botanist in hydroponics. I know you have questions, but right now, we need to get to the trap. I'm not going anywhere until you explain to me what the hell is going on. Yes, you can, I'll tell you everything. Oh boy, okay. Yuri Leonov, botanist biome labs. Personal data tag, blah blah blah. Security level 5. Okay, maybe I'm missing something, but oh boy. I don't know if you saw that. <laughs> but of course, we are gonna go in there because why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we? These crates hold nothing of use. And we got a big ass door here, and that looks like all we can do. Do not move. We're not moving. Attention. Tram terminal access will be granted once biological containment protocols have completed. Tell me where I am. I hey, aren't you a crew member? Crew member? No. Oh, I don't know how I got to this place. What's the last thing you recall? My, my wife and daughter, we, we, we were on our way to Titan. And then I woke up here. That's it. I can't remember anything else. I heard rumors of Kane Corporation hijacking civilian transports and bringing them here. Where is here? The Groom Lake. It's a medical research ship. But Kane, why would they need a ship for research? They have dozens of facilities. Human experimentation. Fringe studies. Here, they can do, well, anything. What? My wife, my daughter. I need to find them. Now! I'll help you, John. But first, you need to get to the tram and get moving. But there's puzzles I haven't solved yet. Warning. 
biological scans are inconclusive. It's nice to know that in the event of an inconclusive scan, we open up security. Yeah, I don't remember that. I, okay, I remember this room. I don't remember if we can... I, okay, power down. We have to restore power. The tram sits dead on the track. And of course, we have the breaker box up there. Now I believe I can get up here. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. The extraction fan spin pulling stale air through the metal vents. Imagine if that was your uh, adventure game narrator. Let's take a look at the terminal for the tram system. All right, we've got uh, here a whole bunch of uh, diagnostics. We're gonna switch the. Oh, a tram cannot change while power levels are below sixty percent. All right, well let's charge this shit. Aw, oh, charging system is inactive. Alright, so I we are way below 60%, so oh, we gotta open up the breaker box. And how do we do that, John? Just shimmy it, apparently. Tram charging system is written across the front of the metal box. A sturdy metal lock sits on the side of the cover, keeping the breaker box closed. No, I need to go and get the stupid acid. With the syringe and stuff. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna go do that. And uh, yeah, we'll call it... Uh, we'll call it for this video. We've been at it for a little bit of time. A while. Blah, blah, blah. Can't speak English anymore. So it's now a good time to stop video. Yes? Excellent. Uh, thanks for joining me on this one. We will come back and we will uh, get on this tram and we will be into brand new territory, if I'm not mistaken. But yes, once this tram, uh, we once we actually leave on this tram, we are into a place where we're going through a strictly blind playthrough because um, that was where the alpha ended. So I'm going to go get that acid and when we come back, I'm going to have it. We'll be in this room. So, uh, well, I guess you go do whatever you want because uh, the next one is going to come up eventually. Thanks for joining me on this one. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.